probably walk to kick out instead. Atkinson can't connect. Bruner can't follow, got his own rebound. And that was up eight for UMass. Press broken. Mahoney response. That's off the back of the rim. Offensive board for Bruner. 5.30 to go. Big rebound by Bruner because that was the new advice shot by Mahoney so early in the set there. Bruner help defense comes, but it's Sean East who really doesn't stand it. It's got to be a little more solid. You got to pick your spots. Make sure that Dale is taking everything over the top. Bruner looks <laughs> so Casey playing the passing lanes nicely and Xander Rice filling the lanes. It's a big time look and a great pass from Jimmy Sotos. Xander Rice's dad, King, was a McDonald's All-American, played at North Carolina, now the coach at Monmouth. Bruner, got his man in the air. Nice. With two on the shot clock, the miss from Keeling. And that's the shot they need Keeling to make. I mean, that's good offense, a good cross-court pass. He's got to knock that down. Yale still hanging around. Down by six with half a minute to go here in this first half of play. Shot clock at five. Bruner scooping it up. and get A team effort here in the second half. Yale's going to have a good chance to get some of their reserves in for some big minutes here. Ten to shoot. Bruner going to the hoop, floater. Pretty. Before it popped out. Bruner in transition, flushes it. Gavidon takes it away. Up ahead for Jordan Bruner all alone. Great defensive play by Yale. Bruzo just missed it. Yeah. Bruner again. Back to back trade. Opportunity, Gavidon up. Missed it, Bruner. <laughs> Row able to kick it out. Bruner wants three and gets him. Bruner wide open. Great seal by Bruner and great look. It's, a team obviously should be rewarded for getting an offense free about the 30 seconds is just too long. Dean Smith all time as Robinson launches once more. And if he does get that milestone victory, we will stay for a ceremony here at the Smith Center afterwards. As that one drops for... Dumps it inside to Armstrong. Turnaround jumper was a little strong. Jordan Armstrong, the junior from California. Bruner fakes the three in transition, goes strong and lays it in. Right now. Lob over the top. Bruner, great positioning, and he puts it in. It's going to be tough to pull Newman and Toomer out, but they both have three fouls, so eventually they might have to take a seat. Up top, mismatch down. Oh, my goodness. So impressive when the entire team is geared towards stopping you. Monroe. Swain to a posting up Bruner. Turns left, hook shot is good. 9-4 Yale, 13-26 to go first half. Cotton with it, top of the key, hands off to Alausa. Alausa dribbles a... Across the top of the key, hands off to Swain, going underneath. Bruner somehow wrangled that pass. Gets the shot away from the right block, the right-handed hook. Oh, come on. And Jordan Bruner, the rebound, will head man the break. Yeah, good look there from Sims, though. Still got it on the block. Tough shot. 1,001, 82-62. Atkinson in and out on the three ball. Bruner gives it a second chance, and it's good with contact. It plays a little flair, plays a little excitement. Bruner with two to shoot. Fadeaway jumper. Connects. Vermont still without a point. Monroe turns the corner on the baseline as Bruner for a corner three. Swain gets it right back in front of the Columbia bench. No look pass to Bruner. Pump fake. Baseline drive and another jam. Bruner top of the key off the pump fake. Fadeaway jumper. And Jordan Bruner. They have silenced this Yale crowd. Here's Bruner inside, and one.
Freshman lost the handle. And he's still down on the baseline as Bruner finishes. Probably walk to kick out instead. Atkinson can't connect. Bruner can't follow. Got his own rebound. And that was up and can make that, but it's not like these are wide open shots. You compare the looks that Yale's getting compared to what Bucknell is, it's night and day. So on track to potentially return yes. middle of next month as Atkinson misses in the paint. But another opportunity for the Bulldogs who run it down. And finally, not fouling. And Yale doing a good job of passing the ball before they get fouled. Atkinson to Bruder. Oh, he got it. What? Sixth man of the, late, of the year last year, starting now. They well needed three for Stony Brook. And you could almost guarantee he won't be the sixth man of the year this year. All for good. Monroe out to Swain. Bruner looking to get on the board and he sinks it. And on the flip side, Coach Brian Earl in his fourth season, the helm of the Big Red. Swain with the basketball, Swain free throw line. Bruner left wing going to drive to the basket. Defense closed quickly, but Bruner. It's a run of 13 to 5 here for the Crimson. Coach Amaker likened Ledlam to Vinnie Microwave Johnson from the Detroit Pistons in the late 80s. That three is good. The freshman from Saratoga Springs, New York, able to get that one to go. Yale now four for seven for three point range. Bruner attacks the rim and lays it in with the right. He'll put up the three. Around and out. Gotta take that if you guys would like. Good look, gave it a chance right there. You're going to pick your poison with Oklahoma State. You will, you will dare Isaac Leibniz to shoot the perimeter shot. Bruner falling away, knocks it down. So And I don't know that he wanted that to Gabadon, but swung to Bruner for three. And goggles with the rebound. The great floor general, unbelievable passer is Eric Monroe, second in the league in assists. Bruner, step back jumper, hits. He wants to face up and he wants to either jab and drive or jab and shoot. That he takes. But, you know, besides this game and last game, he has such a high shooting percentage. He tested the NBA waters after a tremendous year last season. Had a career high 46 points in a triple overtime game against Quinnipiac. Seattle wanted to travel on Monroe. Instead, it's an easy finish. Up. All the way outside at the three point line. Howard got Bruner in the air, now he fires, and it hits off the back iron. Kaylee, you can just feel the energy on every shot. Bruner has Howard on him, gets right by him, and the start for this.